I'm connected to a, a, a force that's so much greater than uh, me, a will that has so much more will than I have, and loves me more than I even love myself. I'm riding on the back of a giant, and I just got to learn how to whisper in its ear. Now, I want to demystify this a little bit, okay? Because when we talk about spirituality or spiritual you know, laws, everybody all of a sudden has no imagery in their brain to be able to process that, right? It's nebulous. But so let's demystify that. Do you know that that intelligence gives life to every human being on this planet? It, gives, it holds order in the universe, and you're connected to it. It's the same intelligence right now that's keeping your heart beating. Your heart pumps over two gallons of blood a minute, over a hundred gallons of blood an hour. It pumps over a hundred thousand times a day through 60,000 miles of blood vessels. Three billion times in one lifetime, no repair, no checks. It does it independent of your moods, your likes, your dislikes, your opinions. It continuously gives you life. Now, are you thinking about doing that? Or is there some order of intelligence doing it for you? It's the same intelligence that's digesting your breakfast and breaking down proteins and carbohydrates and fats into simple products so they can be reassembled for regeneration. And we don't even think about that. See, you and I, free-willed individuals, get a free ride. And something loves us enough to continuously give us life. It's the same intelligence, by the way, that's making 10 million cells every second because you know you lose 10 million cells every second. Whoops, you just made another 10 million. <laughs> Were you thinking about that? Or is something loving you enough to give you life? And that in every single cell in your body, out of the 100 trillion cells, one cell goes through 100,000 chemical reactions a second. Now multiply that by a hundred trillion. And if you don't think that we're connected to a greater mind, we need to rethink it. And that there are little enzymes that zip through your DNA. There's 3.2 billion nucleic acids that make up DNA in one cell. As a matter of fact, geniuses, if we took one DNA, you know, the whole strand of DNA out of one cell, and we straightened it out, it would be six feet long. You have enough DNA in your body to go from here to the sun and back 150 times. Something has assembled who I am. It's got a greater mind than I do because I don't know how to do any of this stuff. And it's got a greater will than I do because I don't think I can keep my heart beating more than a few seconds without thinking about my visa account. And it loves me enough to put up with me. I gotta just Surrender. I want you, power within me. We have a date, and I am going to commune with you, and I'm going to connect with you, and there's nothing else that matters more in this moment than that.